As you saw from the title, we are getting closer and closer to achieving artificial general intelligence. This paper, Learning to Model the World with Language, is about creating smart computer agents that can understand human language and use it to interact with the world. Instead of following just basic instructions like a normal autonomous AI agent would, these agents have been trained to understand different types of languages like descriptions of an environment or rules of a game. Now the key idea is that the language helps the agents predict the future, like what will happen next in the world and what actions will be rewarded. Now the agents use the language understanding to imagine what might happen and they might even learn to make a better decision based on these predictions. Now this paper introduces an agent called Dynalang and it is capable of learning from both online interactions in an environment and a pre-training on text and video data. Now by using diverse types of languages, Dy Dynalang gets better at a task like navigating through environments as well as complex instructions. The paper's approach of using language to predict future events and actions is a promising direction in AI research and it brings us closer to building more AI advanced systems. However, achieving AGI requires breakthroughs in various aspects of AI, which includes common sense reasoning, abstract thinking, and the ability to generalize across diverse tasks and domains. So this research has presented such an amazing and valuable contribution in the field, but there's still much work to be done to have claimed to have achieved through AGI. However, this paper has done an outstanding job in a way to get closer to AGI as it has developed an approach for agents to become really smart to predict human interactions and behaviors by predicting future events and actions that are promising for such agents to basically comprehend. And this is something that we're gonna take a look at throughout today's video we're going to take a look at what you can actually do with these agents get a better understanding as to how they operate and take a look at some of these examples more in depth so definitely stay tuned and with that thought let's get right into the video before we actually get into the video if you would like to get some exclusive features by joining our patreon definitely do so with the link in the description below as there's a lot of features that you will definitely benefit from where you can be a part of our amazing discord community where there's gonna be a lot of utility being added furthermore where it have a lot of resources ai news and a lot of different people that are building different apps on the ai world so if you want to become a member to access a network and just get the best of the best ai content over there definitely do so by the click on the link in the description below now if you guys haven't followed world of ai on twitter i highly recommend that you do so because i'm going to be posting the latest ai news and it's free so you can get the best content right here delivered to you and lastly make sure you subscribe turn notification bell like this video and if you guys haven't seen my previous videos i highly recommend that you do so because there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from so with that thought let's get right into the video hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai as we talked about at the start we're going to take a look at this research paper where it talks about learning to model the world with language now to interact effectively with humans and navigating the world ai agents which have been developed previously were able to understand and interpret various types of languages that people use while also connecting to it in a visual information type of way now current ai agents typically learn to follow like simple instructions and this is something that we saw many times with previous ai agents that we covered on this actual channel we see that they're able to follow instructions but they have to be able to be inputted with a repeated action item in which they can achieve the input that they were given Whereas with this project, it aims to build more advanced agents that can understand a wide range of language expressions. And this is including general knowledge and descriptions of the world state. Now the key idea that is driving this research is the language that can help AI agents predict what will happen in the future, what they will see, how the world will behave, and which actions will lead to rewards. So this is the perception that unifies language compression with future prediction and it makes it a pow powerful learning objective for the AI agents. Now this proposed agent is called Dynalang and is designed to learn a multi-modal world model that can basically predict both future tasks 
as well as image representation. Now it also learns how to act by imagining potential future scenarios and predicting the outcomes from those scenarios that are given. And this is what sets Dynalang Dino apart from like its traditional agent is its basic ability to acquire deep understanding of language that is not able to be predicted upon with basic actions, but it's able to forecast future language, visions, and rewards through this model that they've created. Now with Dynalang, it can be trained using two methods, and this is something that we'll talk about later on in the video. Firstly, is through an online interaction in an environment, or secondly, by a pre-training on data sets, which are containing text and videos without specific actions and rewards. And this flexibility allows the agent to basically learn from a wide variety of different data sources and provide a versatile training approach. So how does it actually function? Well, Dynalang actually works by using language to understand and make sense of the world around it. It builds on a model-based reinforcement learning agent called Dreamer V3. Now, Dynalang learns by collecting experience data while it interacts in an environment, and it basically revolves around two steps. Firstly is the world modeling step, and this is where the agent has a world model that takes both the text and the images from the environment and converts them into a simplified and compact form called talent latent sorry, representation. And this representation basically helps the agent understand what's happening in the world. The world model is trained to do three things. Firstly, is to reconstruct the original observation from the latent representation. Secondly, is to predict the rewards that agent will get. And lastly, is to predict what the next latent representation will be in the next step. And essentially from this, it's to basically make sure that the world model learns what it should expect to see in the world based off the language that it reads from its previous data set. Now, secondly, it focuses on the action selection. And this is where Dynalang decides what actions will be taken by its training. It's basically training a policy of networks on top of its simplified world model representation and it imagines different scenarios by doing an imagine rollout, which basically uses the world model. And it then learns from these actions to maximize the predict the actual rewards that are given and it helps to make the better decisions. So now let's actually take a demo as to how it operates and in this first example there is the language hints in the home grid and this is where it operates in the home grid environment and it's in introducing a new concept called language hints and it's to assess how well the AI agents perform when they receive additional language based off the information alongside with regular task instructions. Now these hints are like extra bits of knowledge that the agents might learn from interacting with humans or reading text and they provide helpful information but not essential to actually completing the task now there's like three types of language hints that are seen in this firstly is the future observation which we see and this is where these hints describe what agents might see or observe in the environment in the future uh, for example uh, we see right here like there is plates in the kitchen and it gives the agent a clue where to find the plates and we can see over here there's plates in the kitchen, you give that input and it then goes to source where the plates are and see where the plates are and then it goes to source, source where the actual plates are in the kitchen. And secondly is its corrections and this is where the hints are offering interactive feedback to the agent based off of its actions. For instance, if like the agent is going to in the wrong direction, they might give it a hint and say turn around. And this is basically guiding the agent to go on the correct path as it's not going in the correct path initially. And so it makes sure that it stays on path with its original goal. And this is something that you can see over here in this example where it goes in the wrong path and it tells you to don't go that direction, turn around. Lastly is the dynamics and this is where these hints explain how the environment works or how certain objects or actions interact. And in this case, you have this example where there's a hint that could be, uh, for example, is in this pedal to open the compass bin. And this is providing information as to how to operate the compost bin. And this is by using the pedal to do so. So in this case, these are these examples of hints that are given to the AI agent to make sure that it stays on path so that it can accomplish the goal that is given.
Now let's actually take a look at the second example which is game manuals in messenger. Now in the messenger game environment it's basically assessing how the AI agents learn from more extensive and complicated texts. And this is basically where demands of a multi hop reasoning are used over both text and visual information. Now in this setting agents are basically needed to understand and reason over text manuals that describe the dynamics of each game episode. Now guys, if you want to get more information on this, such as taking a look at the last example, which is showing the instructions following it in within an actual real life habitat, I highly recommend that you check out their website, which is dynalang.github.io, and I'll leave this link in the description below. You can also reference their actual research paper where they go more in depth to talk a little bit more about what is happening and how it actually functions. So I'll leave these links in the description below. They're going to actually release the code for this very shortly. And it's something that you can access within their website. But in conclusion, this paper is something that is a huge advancement in the development of AI agents that are becoming more complex. So I hope you got some sort of idea as to how this is becoming closer to AI AGI. And this is definitely a great step forward in the AI world. And I highly preach checking this out as this is an amazing application that will be able to develop smarter AI agents. So definitely check this out with the link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you guys haven't. And if you want to get exclusive features, I uh, highly recommend that you follow World of AI on Twitter if you guys haven't. And lastly, make sure you subscribe to the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos as you'll get the latest AI news over here. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys very shortly. Peace out, fellas.